Hello everyone, welcome back to Gia Magique. Today is the 73rd day of my 100 day The, the Economist Challenge.、Um, there is a building site right downstairs, so if it's noisy for you guys, please just bear with me because I tried my best to pick a relatively quiet time. This is the seventh or eighth time that I started the filming today because they've been so noisy this whole day. And、um, yeah, so basically that's why it took me so long to do it. Also,、um, today is mainly about the background information for the European Union, especially the Eurozone. And before we start the article, we just have to have a glimpse of. The EU member states. We have all the coloured ones here, but only these few countries are deemed as the Southern European countries. That's why in the article you would see quite a lot of expressions such as、um, Southerners, Northerners, etc. And let's get started.、Um, a few things to remind you guys: the blue parts are background information, orange ones,、um, phrasal verbs, expressions, new words, etc. And today there are, okay, today there's not anything we need to pay attention to in terms of pronunciation. So yeah, let's just start from the title. Cut to the chase. That means you jump to the crux of the problem, and literally the cut here. Uh, this word comes from movie industry. That means you jump through all the preliminaries and just get to the point, and then look out for a panic about the single currency. If it cannot integrate further, it will break up. Here, instead of saying break up, you could say disintegrate. Just put a d i s in front of integrate and founder collapse.、Um, As you could see, my notes. Some of my notes are already here because I filmed it six or seven times already, and it just got interrupted by the noisy, the noise out there. Okay, I need to be quick, just in case it start the、um, work again. And here, the euro area is set for its deepest downturn and the sternest economic test yet. Here, sternest, you could just say severe, serious, drastic. And when it comes to measures, you could say, um, sorry, you could say, exacting, harsh, draconian, that kind of thing. And next one, as for synonyms for the word shrink, you've got just so many. Uh, drop, plunge, nose dive, fall. And if you want to use a、uh, noun, you could say economic fallout. And to curb that, you could also say to limit the economic fallout. Something has descended into yet another ugly row. It's not pronounced as row here because we're not talking about different rows of seats, and we're not going to talk about um twenty twenty times in a row or a few days in a row. It's more about、uh, argument or disagreement or quarrel here, and. Here, as for the background information, Europe's sovereign debt crisis in 2010 to 2012, when stricken Southerners pleaded for solidarity and Northerners refused to bail out what they saw as bad behaviour. The bad behaviour here means borrowing too much from the ECB、um, by taking advantage of a relatively low borrowing cost,、um, which comes with A EU membership, and basically the、um, idea behind this article is that southern European countries used to have higher borrowing cost, but after joining the European Union, this cost has become much lower than before. Sorry, has become much lower than before, but. They are not using the same kind of stringent、uh, monetary policy or economic policy as conducted by Germany,、um, which is basically caused the sovereign debt crisis about a decade ago. You could see from this figure that the percentage of general government gross debt compared to the GDP. That、um, Italy, France, and Spain have the problem of borrowing too much or having too much debt, whereas Germany is just all right, and、um, that's why these three countries, as very 
typical Southern European countries are listed as like the crux of the problem in terms of the COVID nineteen crisis, whereas Germany, as a representatives for、uh, sorry, as a representative for Northern European countries,、um, are standing against them in terms of the measures to turn this table around. And next paragraph collapse. We mentioned it before, and、um, the eurozone has since had a chance to pass deep reforms in order to deal with its fragility once and for all. But the time was ill used. That means the eurozone did have a chance, but it didn't work out. And pass here means to you know you vote for someone or you vote for a kind of policy and then. People, or the Congress, or the ECB committee in this case has passed this、uh, decision. Again, having given up their monetary independence long ago and failed to cut public debt, this is more about background information. For example, you could see from the、uh, ECB website, the ECB has the right to conduct or to. Draft up、uh, monetary policy in the aim to maintain price stability and you know just get more room and space for job creation. The ECB aims at inflation rates of below but close to two percent over the medium. Oh, okay, it's out of battery. Two percent over the medium ba- medium term. I almost said medium battery. Okay, <laughs> next one. To avoid a deep and enduring slump, instead of saying enduring, you have lengthy, long, long-lasting, or you could just say if the slump drags on, the fallout drags on, and shore up the economy. You could say prop up, or buoy up, or bolster, as we will see later, and you could say.、Uh, Relaunch. Oh yeah, relaunch is right here. Or you could say bounce back to make something bounce back. Here, as we mentioned, Italy's public borrowings are already worth a hundred and thirty-five percent of GDP, and that means even if the ECB is trying to use quantitative、um, easing measures to save these countries, it's going to cause further problem in terms of、um, a rising percentage of. Debt against GDP, because even a modest stimulus would cause that kind of problem, which could turn into an eventual default or debt restructuring.、Um, so it's just very simple. And if you borrow too much, then one day you would end up not being able to pay back what you borrowed. Here, the temptation is to desert. Desert Diz- means to hesitate. And after fumbling, fumbling means you're not doing something correctly. You have、um, mistreated something, or you haven't done it in the right way.、Um, try to limit the damage by acquiring bonds and relaxing rules about what it buys. Again, it's more related to background information. So, I was quite curious about what it bought, as you could see. Here, what kind of bonds does the ECB buy? It's allowed to buy national government bonds, regional and local government bonds, and commercial banks and corporate bonds with a maturity of between twelve months and thirty years.、Um, so basically, the European Union is trying to, sorry, the ECB is trying to buy more bonds so that they could tap more money into the market, so that. Um, jobs could be、uh, revived, and people would go to work. This whole economy would just go back to n- normal. Here,、um, but the problem is the ECB may feel it lacks the mandate to extend its scheme because there is a legal challenge in Germany.、Um, Germany is quite a Special country in terms of monetary policy because it has always been、uh, very stringent. And if you're interested in that, you could go to my March the first post, where I talked about the、um, relationship between Bundesbank, the German central bank, and and the ECB. I think you guys would 
know about this background information more if you have、uh, read this article. So yeah, just just in case you're interested, here that could still mean they face a doom loop. This is like a loop, and if it's doom, that means it's like gloomy. And if you still remember, we have it's not all doom and gloom. And to service existing debt, service means、uh, when it when it is used as a verb, you could say to maintain something, to keep something in check. That is to say here to make sure it could. Um, balance is existing debt or to pay them back. Here, feeling support for Eurosceptic parties such as Italy's Northern League and the National Rally of Marine Le Pen,、uh, Marine Le Pen, in France.、Um, I remember this lady quite clearly because she was the rival for Emmanuel Macron、um, in the. Latest, not the latest, in the last general election in France. So basically, he's、uh, Miss Le Pen. Her idea is very、um, nationalistic. Is like a strong and fervent nationalist. And here, that is in the south, south, and then in the north, bailouts would bolster, as we mentioned just right here. The likes, and、uh, the vote of the hard right alternative for Germany. So on the southern side, they do not want to have that much control. I mean, they hate the control the ECB has when it comes to monetary policy and economic policy. But on the other side, um, for northerners like Germany, they hate it as well because. They feel like they've been losing because of this single currency. Here, including common funding for unemployment insurance and easier access to credit lines from a common bailout fund. Again,、um, this whole article is about their argument towards the bailout bail. Out fund. Some people hate to pay to rescue. Other people are pleading, pleading for、um, more solid solidarity. Here, but the resources available are puny. Puny means are、uh, mm, they're not abundant、um, resources to fall back to. And here, fonda means to collapse, as mentioned just now. It's from a old French word like fondre, and if you change that into English, that means your horse or the horse's rider、um, stumbled together. So. That's literally the figurative meaning for this word, and then we have Northerners have long resisted mutualization for fear of underwriting laxity in the South. So, mutualization is like symbio symbiosis.、Um, I'm not sure you're familiar with this concept, but here is symbiosis. That means、um, it is beneficial to both、um, creatures or Um, organisms to you know to depend on each other, and they would deliver well-being for both of them. And here we have a lengthy debt crisis, as yeah, again, long, ever long, lasting, that kind of thing, as we mentioned here. Oops, here. Okay. And such as class, not this guy. He is the head for. The Dutch, I mean not Dutch, German central bank. He is quite famous for his policy against the ECB, and here even him has seen a case for them. That is to say, he has seen a point for solid solidarity, for mutualization. That's why the summary of this article goes like.、Um, Both ECB and all European zone countries should work together and deliver deliver solidarity and then benefit each other in a mutualized way, so that they could, you know, make it through this COVID nineteen crisis altogether. And they have to find their common interests, as suggested、um, here. Okay, where is it? 
I saw it somewhere, but I can't find it now. Never mind. You could find it in this article. And then,、um, if they do not face up to that today, the euro and perhaps the European Union itself will not survive. That's basically the point of this article. They need to stand hand in hand with each other, no matter what their、um, policies are, what their、um, traditions are. They just need to face it because this is a epic time. For countries to stand together and just show solidarity, and that's it. I'll see you guys for another lesson. Bye.